Northumberland and Hadrian's Wall, castles and battle sites, ghosts and legends, coast and countryside. Sponsored by Eat and Sleep at Lindisfarne, Northumberland's premier bunkhouse and cafe, and held rider equipment. So come on, let's go on an adventure. So, as we leave Ford Village, we head back towards Eatle. Because that's our exit, because we're now going to the most haunted castle in the world. <laughs> Does it have a few stories to tell? Just before we decide to break away because we're turning left here to go back to the A697 you can actually spend a whole day at the Ford and Eatle Estates just chilling and relaxing and enjoying the peace and quiet the corn mill, the cafe, sitting next to the river enjoying a cup of tea Ford Estate with the gallery, visiting the heavy horse centre, going on the steam train. It's fabulous, fabulous place. So instead of going to your normal haunts, get yourself up here. See somewhere different, it's not disappointing. So we head south again, back to Wooler, and here we are coming back into Wooler. And as it quite and rightly says, the gateway to Northumberland National Park. Now as you come back into Woolley, this is the road that we're going to take to the left. The Belford and Chatton one. Well, we've already been on this one on the other adventure. And we're only six to seven miles from our destination. The history, the stories, the legends, the ghosts of where we're going to be going now is enough to make your toes curl. And this is that little village I just love the name of Chatton Chatner the Choo Choo Won't you bring me home And it is in here where we turn Right Where do you live? I live at Chatner the Choo Choo In Northumberland Where battles have been And unless you don't know, the chatting of the Choo Choo, that's a Glenn Miller song from World War II era. Check it out. Pardon me, boy. Is that the cat that chewed your new shoes? Woo! Woo! Ch 
Chillingham. The home of Chillingham Castle. Now, Bamborough Castle is, in my humble opinion, the most impressive castle in the world. Its location, its stature, its outlook, its history, it cannot be beaten. However, Chilean Castle is a very close second. You'll have to read all about it in the book because the history and the stories, there's too much to talk about and this. I mean, just look at this coming down this drive. Even this is impressive, and we haven't even got there yet. The trees turning for autumn, adding that extra sparkle of colour. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years worth of history here. The people that were travelling backwards and forwards for battles against the English and the Scottish stayed here. A number of years ago Sir Humphrey got it and renovated it. And believe it or not, you can even stay here in the most haunted castle in the world. Some people say you'll not stay asleep all night. Others just say, oh, you'll never stay there. Never, never. Whereas there are others who enjoy that sort of thing. Woohoo! Just look at that. Welcome to Chillingham Castle. At first a 12th century stronghold, Chillingham became a fully fortified castle in 1344. Steeped in the nation's history, it occupied a strategic position as a fortress during Northumberland's bloody border feuds. But there is no castle without talking of torture. There is a region of the castle dedicated to torture. And there is even an original chopping block where heads were severed from bodies and their blood would go around that channel of the block as it drained away. While filming, in the tea room, no matter what I tried, I couldn't get the camera to focus. I wonder why. Because when I moved positions, everything came to life. And in this room here is the dungeon, where people were interred. And at the bottom of that grate during excavations, skeletons were found. Then we have the Great Hall, adorned with weapons of years gone by. And you can just imagine the owners, the gentry, the royalty, having a fabulous feast in this room. But this room is more important. It's the Blue Room, 
and it's reputed that blue flashes were seen and even the body of a small boy found behind the walls. It's the haunted room. But this is the most impressive for me. This room had Edward Longshanks. He stayed here on his way to try and defeat William Wallace of Scotland. And this room, well, you're going to have to visit to find out more. The history, the stories, the heritage, the ghosts of Chillingham Castle. You can only appreciate it by being.